Halfords, John and Carrie Halford, were in court where the pair of suspects were expected to potentially enter a plea, but that's once again been pushed back. The funeral homeowners are accused of improperly storing nearly 200 bodies at that Penrose funeral home. Their attorneys say they need more time to negotiate a plea deal that's been offered by the prosecution. 11 News reporter Cameron Dean is joining us in studio. Cameron, you were in court this morning, but one of the Halfords didn't show. Adam Lindsay, after that plea deal was offered to the defense, the defense teams of Carrie and John Halford, they both requested court proceedings to be moved to a later time. The judge agreed to that request. Previously, we told you victims' families were alerted of a plea deal by the DA's office. The email sent was forwarded to us by those families. If they agreed to the deal, Carrie Halford would be sentenced to 15 to 20 years in prison and John Halford 20 years in prison. Carrie appeared in person to court, but John was absent and in federal custody. The judge issued a bench warrant in response. We spoke with the victims' families who say they are forced to wait for justice once again. It's frustrating that they're playing this kind of cat and mouse game with us, I feel like. It's uh, feeling like they are trying to push it out, push it out to try to get less attention for it and maybe um, get something better for them. Their next court date is set for September 20th. The Halfords have until early October to respond to the plea offer. Back to you. All right, Cameron, we'll stay on top of that. Thank you. Let's get